guys, welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. It's Jason and Charlie here, and we're in a mess today. Uh, I started off on a Saturday morning back in the woods like I normally would, and uh, got some trees on the ground, and I was just back in the old International 414 into my little spur road to get my first twitch, and I blew a tire. And uh, I'm going to show you how I blew that tire here in a few minutes. Anyway, we've got a recovery mission going on. And uh, we're going to try and pull this tire off right here in the woods and uh, leave the tractor jacked and get it into a local tire uh, repair shop and replace it. That's going to save us a few bucks because uh, the margins are pretty slim here on the firewood business. Anyway, let's see how we, how we do here. Stick around. Yep, well, I got WD-40 on the nuts. Uh, got them all loosened. All ready to roll. Got all a jack under it. All right. I, I, my plan, Jake, I got the, I got in gear, I got the emergency brake on. I want to let that winch down to take more weight off. And then I'm going to, I got a 12 ton jack under the axle. And I think I can, if I get it clear, then I just loosen the bolts and we can carry it away with the backhoe, if that sounds good to you. Yep, I think that we should try and get it uh, raised up a little higher so that when the new tire comes in full of air, that uh, it'll slide right on and we yep. don't have to fool around that way. Yep. But well, sounds, like, uh, sounds like a safe plan. Yeah, I got a jack a little more there. But I'm going to get this over here. Under the axle. Let's let that back down and square that jack up a little bit because it's leaning out the way up here. Yep. Can you pull your edge of the block and in toward the tire a little bit more? Like to be right, right here somewhere in the middle when we get done. Maybe you want to put two blocks on top if it doesn't go through the. Way. You brought a chain anyway, didn't you? Yeah. yeah that one. So you can see what I did here, guys. I caught that on a stump. I'm usually pretty careful to cut my stumps down on my twitching trails, but uh, that one got me this morning, so. How old do you think this tire is, Dad? Oh, I think I got this tractor back in the, maybe 70, 1970 or so. This tire was on it then. So it served its purpose. Yeah. And we replaced the other tire 10 or 15 years ago. Yeah. Or the sidewall in there. Okay. 
piece of cake. So we'll go back and I'll show you what happened. But that's good. We saved uh, we saved a service call at the very least here so far. So, well, I don't know. We haven't sent the bill in yet. <laughs> <laughs> so on some of the uh, on some of the previous videos, you guys have seen that we were working on a spur road down around here through this hardwood stand to access some of the sugar maples and to get a little firewood out. And uh, once we had the main road down through. I thought that I would do some side spur roads just to get some uh, some of the old beach and I saw some deadfalls in there that I wanted to get out. So this was what I was up to. So on your wood lot, putting in these little access roads, in my opinion, are key. Uh, especially if you're doing tractor logging or microforestry. A skitter will go anywhere. But these tractors, you have to take time and cut your trails out and you try not to damage your equipment. Now that didn't work out for us today. But you can see here, I've got some uh, deadfalls back in there that I was after. There's quite a bit of beach back in there. So I opened up another small spur road. And uh, what I like to do is work with the tractor and twitch the wood out to where I can get the Kubota B2601 and the Cram and Log Trailer to very easily because I don't want to damage that gear. It's very expensive. And when you do that, there's all kinds of stumps that you have to remove. And you can see here, these stumps, that's not a stump, but this stump here I left high as well as this one, but I didn't plan on having the tractor over there. If I, ha if I plan on driving the tractor over a stump, I try and cut it down as close as I can to the ground for obvious reasons. You cut a tire on your tractor very quickly. So when I came back in this morning, I got a twitch down and I was ready to bring the tractor in and I actually spent 15 minutes checking the trail, moving brush and uh, cutting the stumps down, but I missed two. So I think the reason why I didn't cut these down was because they're over where there's quite a deep drop and I shouldn't have had the tractor here anyway. But uh, I was driving in and I was making my final approach and the next thing I know I caught this stump right here on the tire and cut it. And it was a little higher and a little sharper than it is now. I've cut it down uh, after I damaged the tire. Um, but that's just how quick it can happen. And so here we are. Uh, we're all done on firewood today and we're into maintenance. You can see that we've left the International 414 in a, in a pretty safe position. We've got the farm wench hooked to a big maple tree over there. We've got tension on it. The farm wench is on the ground. Uh, we've got an eight ton bottle jack. I think dad said it was 12, but it actually is eight on the side of it. We've got an eight ton bottle jack and uh, we've got some blocking there. And I think that the tractor is uh, in a pretty safe condition to leave. So we're gonna slip out here and call the tire shop and see if they've got a tire available. And uh, if they do, maybe we'll have it back on this afternoon and that would be great. Okay guys, so we got lucky and the tire shop had uh, the exact same tire that we had on the other side of the tractor and the right size and everything, so that was great. But uh, when we took it in to get it changed out, we found that we had uh, a pretty big hole in the rim that needed to be replaced. Uh, so what we did was we elected to bring everything home with us and uh, I've mentioned before that I've got a brother-in-law uh, that can fix anything and he's agreed to uh, take this on. So we brought it over to the shop and dropped it off and we're gonna let him work his magic. So uh, let's see how this turns out. Okay guys, so uh, my brother-in-law Carl got the uh, rim all repaired for us. We're gonna come in and take a close up here now. So he's a pretty handy guy and he's been at uh, this type of work his whole life. And he can take anything old and repair it and make it look new again. And for, uh, for an old 1970 era tractor, this rim is gonna be the nicest part of that tractor now. Carl does a really good job. So uh, the tractor has only been down less than 24 hours and uh, we've got it loaded on the bucket of the backhoe and we're gonna take it back in and get it installed again. So here we go.
turn down. Yep. We get the bottom in under. Come up a little. Yeah. See if you jack it in there. Right to the end of it, is it? Yeah. All right, just to hold it. Actually, yeah, it's got her. We put the bottom in first. Paint's a little wet. Yeah. Did a beautiful job, but I wish he had dried the paint a little bit more. off a lot easier than I thought it was going on the other day. A little bit of WD-40. Boy, she took it right off. She's an oldie but a goodie. Gotta love it. So we had replaced the uh, tire on the other side 10 or 15 years ago. We went to the same tire shop yesterday and we didn't even know if they'd have a tractor tire, but uh, we lucked out because they had a tire. It was the right size and it was the exact same make and model as the one on the other side. So uh, things couldn't have gone any better. And if we wouldn't have had this little uh, rim issue, uh, we would have been back in business by lunchtime yesterday. But uh, it's, good for us that we have uh, such a handy guy in Carl and uh, like I've said before and I'll say it again that guy can fix anything if he can't fix it you don't need it what's the torque setting you're getting on that thing just enough <laughs> now. say I heard you say the other day after I said this was a 12 pound 12 ton jack that it was only an 8 ton but it acts like a 12 ton it'll it'll lift what a 12 ton will lift so you know just kind of preface that a little bit the good news is uh, the tractor is probably no more than a ton so we've got all kinds of jack there to get the job done lots of ton between grants Okay guys, so uh, less than 24 hours and we're back in business and like I say, if that rim wouldn't have been uh, in need of repair, we would have been back in business in three or four hours. So uh, not a bad turnaround uh, for, for a colossal failure in the woods. Uh, but like I always say, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow the channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the you Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>